Good morning. Back out for a little late October Halloween canoe trip. It's not quite Halloween, but we're almost there. A few more days. Over my shoulder behind me. Let's see if I can get him in frame there. Back out with Joe and Beauty. Anyway, we're up here on the French. Weather looks good for a few days. And the hangout. See if we can maybe find a fish. Enjoy this late fall before the snow comes and we're all on skis and snowshoes again. Just can't put the boat away yet. The addiction is real. I lost them now. Behind that, that one tree there by that one rock. <laughs> Trying to find this fisher here as we run along the shore. We're, there he is. A quick glimpse of him. It's as far as I can zoom in, but one hundred percent fisher. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's some really swirling currents in here, man. Like some crazy whirlpools in there. Wow! There's a real undertow there. It's boiling. Look, it's coming up here. Yeah. That's, uh, that's sketchy or no? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> like it's not going to pull the canoe down, but. <laughs> yeah, look up, look upstream. There's even more. This is so cool. Found a really cool spot here next to the rapids. We've got a really cool view. Room for both our tents. Both of us have a fairly large footprint tent here. But it looks like a good spot. We're sitting pretty. We're just doing some uh, camp prep here. Fire prep, got the stove, we got the wood stove up in Tosh's tent, we got our tents up. Got some potatoes, gar garlic and onion and butter. So while we're just kind of sitting around doing camp chores, I want to clean this up. Uh, we thought maybe we'd have a little brewski. Right, what are you drinking? I got a Tank 10 Karma Citra from Great Lakes. What about you? Legion Lager from Whitewater Brewing. Nice. Get it in you, bud. Here we go. Cheers, man. Good trip already. Yeah, cheers. Oh, I haven't had a beer in a long time. Definitely should have bought more of these. <laughs> got onions, potatoes, garlic. Beauty's finally worn out. What do you have to eat? 
<laughs> oh, I have to eat. I've got all the meat. Oh, darn it. We have onions, potatoes, <laughs> garlic. Oh, the sun is unreal, man. It's like, I don't know why you're sitting in the shade. <laughs> I should move over there. You're right. <laughs> it's so nice. I, will move I can't believe this is like the end of October. Yeah. Don't always like to see a big table in camp like this, but sometimes it's pretty helpful. Kind of handy. We got some nice Nutra Farms <coughs> bones tonight. So, I'm going to cut these off the bone and let the dogs have the bones. And since Joe and I both forgot plates. What do you mean? I got mine right here, man. <laughs> Joe's splitting us up some sla hey, slabs of oak that I we're going <laughs> We're going to eat our dinner off of. That'll work out all right. like nearly 6 30 i think and it's really getting dark but i'm going to gather up a little bit of spruce and then i can have a little bit of dry stuff here i've got some oak and some maple to burn in the tent tonight so i'm gonna try out the wood stove see how i like it like i said i've never used it on a trip it's only been at home i did a little test run in it but gather gather up a few pine or spruce limbs just to get things started I think it's gonna warm up in here in a hurry. Pretty cool. I like it. That light is really bright, but Coop and I are in the tent for the night. The stove is just purring away. It's so nice and warm in here. I'm gonna strip right down. Socks drying up there and everything. It's pretty sweet. Pretty happy with it. Anyway, not much else to say or see. So we'll see you in the morning. Alive. It's a pretty perfect morning. Can't beat this out of home. Little smoky bacon on the fire. Double boiler eggs. Pretty sweet. Joe special. Yeah. <laughs> the oil dump the eggs in on the pot of water and it makes it easier to clean. Don't burn the eggs to the bottom of the pot. And put some cheese on top. We're going omelets now. A little plate of bacon. Mm -hmm. We know what we're doing out here. Can't see anything. The sun. It's so beautiful. I've probably said it ten times this year, but it's hard to find a better spot to wake up. 
something in the back country, in the bush, somewhere back here, so, good morning. Soaking up this awesome October sun. <laughs> How often can you say that? But Joe's getting his stuff packed up. He's going to punch out of here. Got some things to do back home. So Coop and I are going to stay here another night. Maybe two. I haven't decided yet. But definitely going to stay another night. Hang out here. And then uh, we'll decide what we want to do. Got some time. Just hanging out. I don't have a whole lot of ambition. We're going to go try fishing maybe a little later on and see what happens. It's too nice uh, to be at home though. I'll turn the camera back on if I catch anything or anything interesting happens. No fish. Not right now anyway. Try a little, a little bit later on, maybe. The sun goes down this evening. It's nice having these cameras along. It uh, gives me the illusion that I've got someone to talk to. So I appreciate that. Thanks for joining me. So nice, like half an hour ago. The sun's starting to drip, drop a little bit. Ooh, cooling off in a hurry. So I'm gonna make my dinner. I'll give Cooper his. He's gonna boil some water. Might as well use the stove instead of sitting out here. But I'll sit out here to eat tonight. Such a gorgeous day, man. What a beautiful place. Kind of freeze dried meal tonight. I'm not even sure what it is. I don't remember. Well, that'll do. There's a pileated woodpecker right behind camp. It keeps squawking like crazy. I don't know if you can hear them, but it's back there somewhere you can, you can see what he's been doing to these trees here. I believe there's probably a pair of them back there. It sounds like it anyway. It sounds like two different directions they're coming from. Just enjoying the sunset over the river here. That guy's still squawking back there. Oh. Cool. Stove gently rolling there. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I'm pretty much out of daylight now. First stars come out. Camera will pick it up behind me. I think I'm probably just going to go in the tent. Read a little bit. Probably go to bed early tonight. I'm thinking. See how the morning is. See what the weather's like. But probably get packed up fairly early and jump on the water and take a tour around see what there is to see and yeah I don't know see what the day brings anyway it's been a gorgeous day here see you in the morning
switched over to the other paddle. There's a little bit of wind picking up and this just makes it so much easier to control the canoe with not a whole lot of weight in it. Or at least most of the weight in my seat. We're just taking our time cruising along. Listening to the Blue Jays. Almost back. Just taking my time, picking my way through these islands here. It's just so beautiful. But every trip has to come to an end. This one's gonna end here. Nice time to get out again. Gorgeous weather. Such a beautiful place. Love the French River. Anyway, uh, lots more to come. Uh, many more trips planned and more videos I'm working on of trips from this past summer. From Cooper and I, thanks for coming along. See you on the next one. And a pro tip for uh, if you're going out on a canoe trip, leave a spare change of clothes back in the vehicle. So when you get back and you're wet or sweaty or dirty, whatever, you got something clean that you can uh, ride home in. So cheers. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time.